Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Quest for Glory 2. Uh, it's been a while since I did the other episode. Um, kind of got sidetracked by uh, my other Let's Plays and was actually sick for a while, so I wasn't doing anything. Anyway, um, when we last left off I was lost in this maze. Um, but uh, I have this game second hand, so I didn't get all the stuff that came with it. And One of the things that came with was a map of uh, Shapir. So... Um, I have the map now. I printed it out thanks to the uh, wonders of the internet. I can now navigate my way through. It's just a matter of looking at the doors here. Um, there's a sign down the street to the right which reads a scary darb. Another sign down the street to the left reads a scary darb. So it's just a matter of looking for the uh, section of this map that's labeled a scary darb, which. I can't seem to find on this... M oh, there we go. A scary darb. Okay. So I'm still kind of near the um, Plaza of the Fighters, which is kind of where I left off before. So let's um, let's see if I can figure out my way through here. Let's look, look at this sign just to get my bearings back. Um, still says a scary darb down there. I think if I go down here, it might lead to a um, dead end. If I'm facing the right way. Oh, the sign to the left says Saif Darb. Okay. So, okay. Then I know where I am. I think. I think this way goes back to... Oh, a door. Okay. This wasn't what I was expecting. Oh, let's give it an open. The door is locked. Of course, it's locked. So, this is a dead end. This is the dead end of Saif Darb. Saif Darb. So then, I think I know where I am. I think if I go down here, I'll eventually hit a left turn. Yes. Left turn over here, which will lead me down another path to a right turn, yes. And this right turn will in turn... What is this? This place wasn't on the map. Uh, okay, maybe I am a little bit lost. Alright, two ways here. Save daughter two different ways. Okay, so I think the one on the right should lead me back to the Plaza of the Fighters, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, yes, it did. Okay. Now, one of the places... It looks different. Why is it all blue? Is it nighttime now? At the West Plaza of the Fighters is the entrance to the Guild Hall, which I've been to. Uh, but I am in the Plaza of the Fighters, at least. There's the weapon shop. So I was here before. Now, Kital Darb, this way will lead me to the center of this village, which should take me to the Fountain Plaza, which is kind of where I want to go, I think. I think there were things there that I needed to do. So I'm going to head this way, see if I can figure out my way. Yeah, there's a right turn, then there's a left turn, okay, another right turn. Now, if I go down here, I should st stay in, oops, went too far, hold on a second. Um, right turn should get me, let's look over here, Kital Darb, yep, so I'm still in the right area. Very difficult game to navigate. 
All right. Okay, this is... I just went back. Okay, oops. Ignore that. Um, all right. Right turn. Left turn. Right turn. Followed by a quick left. Come on, why aren't I going in? Okay, so now I'm facing the other way, so yeah, okay, there we go. Straight, then a left turn followed by a quick right down here, okay. This should get me somewhere. Yeah, right turn, then there'd be a quick left, and now I should be where? Let's look around. Dinar Tariq. Another sign to the right, Dinar Tariq, and I'm on Kital Darb. So yes, if I go left, I will be following this street up. Kital Darik is a left turn. Followed by a right turn. I'm getting tired. Oh, shoot. Alright, well, hopefully I'll be able to make it to the inn in a reasonable amount of time. Oh, man. Um, let's look. <clears throat> Nafora Tarb. Up the street to the right, and another sign up the street to the left reads Nafora Tarb. So both of them are Nafora Tarb. I think if I go to the right, I'll be headed to the Fountain Plaza. So let's do that. Let's go to the Fountain Plaza here. This. I passed it. This door here should be it. Man, once you pass it, it's really hard to get in. All right. All right, there we go. Yep, this is the Fountain Plaza. Okay. The well-cut plazas of Shapir are octagonal in shape. Windows overlook the daily goings-on, and alleys lead outward toward other parts of the city. All right, so this is like the center of the city here is this fountain plaza here. So I'm going to save here just so that I have it on here. But I'm getting tired, so I should probably stay at the inn. Which, if I'm looking at this map correctly, is down on this southern end here. So let's look at this uh, doorway here. You see a dark passage leading to the south, the south reach Junab Tariq, which means South Street. All right, so let's um, let's maneuver down this South Street, and I believe all I have to do is just go straight, and I'll go all the way back to that South Plaza that I started at yesterday, or the last episode, rather. Yep, and uh, this is the South Plaza. This is the Cottas Tail Inn. So let's uh, see if we can rent a room for my good friend here. Welcome, hero. Rent room. Your room awaits you just off the passage behind me. You have a place to stay here as long as you wish to be our guest. Yay. All right. So that's up here. Let's, uh, let's sleep until dawn. You awaken much refreshed. Ah. Welcome, hero. How nice. So I just stayed the night. You know, now that I have some info, let's ask uh, our friend here. I forgot his name already. About the goings on. Shamin. In the tongue of my kindred means the lion. Ask about Emir Aras. 
Emir, then. Those driven from Rasir speak highly of the former Emir Ras al Din. Of his brother Ali Hassan, they merely spit. Okay, so Emir must have been someone important. Ask, what was his brother's name? Ali. Ask about Ali. About Hassan. Was it Hassan? Okay, he doesn't know about that. Ask about brother. Nope. Um, ask about Hadik Atar. Nope. Ask about money exchange, money changer. The money changer will change the money of Spielberg for coins in Shapir. Doesn't tell me where he is though. Was he by the fountain? I should check around there. Ask about keep on. Ask about laughing. Is there anything keep on laughing? Nope. What does he know about the Sultan? The Sultan Harun al Rashid welcomed welcomed and sheltered the Katas driven from their homes in Rasir. His name will be honored forever by our people. That city used to be but a mirror to Shapir. Now it is said that it is a foreshadow of what is to come. So it was a different city called Rasir. All right, well, let's, um, don't forget that Shima dances this night. Okay, um... We'll see if we can come back here then. This you got to see. The ashtray of Shapir made from imported coconut shell and carved by Kata natives into face of Sultan. You not to find this anywhere else. The coins of Shapir are stamped with an image of Sultan Harun al Rashid. May he rule forever. Her shop is at the south end of Dinar Tariq. Where is this Dinar Tariq? I don't even see that on the map, this Dinar Tariq. I don't know if it's in this city. Okay. Alright, well I'm going to go to the fountain area because I think that was an important place that I needed to go to. I remember some things were mentioned that I needed there. It should be an easy straight ahead walk. If I just keep going. There it is. Okay. All right. And let's talk to the people in this area of town. The well-kept plazas of Shapir are octagonal in shape. Windows overlook the daily goings-on, and alleys lead outward toward other parts of the city. Toshur, pots for sale, earthenware pots and brightly colored glazes. I have a pot you have long sought. My pots are all made from clay, which is shaped and painted by my hand. I would be most pleased if you were to buy one. There's a very pretty one here for only three dinars. Alas, you will need to visit the money changer before you can buy something here. Right. The money changer will give you the dinars and centimes with which you could purchase things in this land. She is on dinar tariq. Still don't know where that is. Falafels and fresh roasted lamb, dates stuffed with honeyed almonds to tease your tongue. It is certainly that you will enjoy to sell. Um, talk to them. I guess they sell food, these guys. I am Scurry. I am Slory. We are life mates. What you would call husband and wife. Ask about food. We have delicious things for you to eat. Mouth-tempting falafels and f of fresh roasted lamb. 
Dates stuffed with honeyed almonds and to tease your tongue. No bad dates. It is certainly that you will enjoy. It is a certainty that you will enjoy. Okay. Buy falafel. But of course I can't because I don't have the money. And they don't even understand what falafel is. Or I spelled it wrong. I don't know. Let's look at this um, fountain here. A square is named after the fountain. The crystal clear water of the fountain is a priceless treasure in a land such as this. Mafimt. The town person doesn't seem to understand you. Okay. So, more stuff I can't buy. What's in here, though? This looks like a, a cafe of some sort. The apothecary shop is aflame with reds, yellows, and oranges, and smoky incense fills the air. The druggist is busy creating pills and powders. Ah, oh, I did not notice you come in. Hari Qatar. This is the apothecary, where one can buy many wondrous pills and oils. I am Harik. If you need something, just let me know. I feel like I needed to talk to this guy about something. Hari Qatar. Yeah, he he was the one that had a quest for me in the desert, I think. The desert is a wonderful source of components for my pills. I am always out of scorpion venom to make poison cure pills and ghoul claws for my experiments. I will pay 20 dinars for the tail of a scorpion and 15 dinars for the claws of a ghoul. Okay, Tale of Scorpion and Claws of Ghoul. Definitely something to write down, because that's a quest right there. Um, so, yeah. Scorp Tales. Ghoul Claws. Alright, what else can I ask this guy about? Um, ask about Money Changer. Does he know? The West of Us. Okay, well, at least he tells us the, it's the West. At Dinar Tariq. Okay, you know what? I do see a Dinar Tariq. It's one of those long hallways. It's probably at one of the dead ends. So I'll have to explore down there. Um, Even the Sultan, may peace be always with him, has often used my pills. The new emir, it has been said, uses drugs of the darkest nature, the ones which poison the mind and soul. Who is this emir? What does emir mean? That's something I'm going to have to look up. I uh, <laughs> wonder what that means. I thought it was a name of someone, but it, it actually means something. Let's see if I can look that up real quick. Um, It's a prince. It's a commander and a prince title given to a high office throughout the Muslim world. Okay. Good to know. Alright. Um, little pots. I don't know. Whatever this pot is here, you're glad it's not there now. Whatever was in this pot before. Okay. Take pot. Um, you can't get the pot on the stove. I probably can't do anything here. I mean, I'll, I'll look around, but just have a feeling this is just here for show. All this stuff. Shelves are filled with unusual objects. You see something that looks like leftover cooking grease. Can I take it? If you need something, I'd be pleased to sell it to you. All right. well, what does he sell? He sells pills. I have the following pills for sale. Vigor pills for 5 dinars. Healing pills for 10 dinars. Poison cure pills for 12 dinars, and mana pills for 15. Poison cure, that's new. Mana I'm not going to need since I'm a fighter. But I'll probably want the healing and vigor pills. Take one pill with water and get plenty of rest. Alright, so... I'm going to leave just because I don't think I can do anything else here. I might be able to, but I just want to actually get out and explore for a bit. Pots in every sizes and colors. Search fountain. Maybe there's something in there. Please, FND, a thousand pardons, but I do not understand. All right. Well, I wasn't talking to you, but... 
What's over here? Is this where I came from? No, I haven't been here yet. Living plants to bring the outdoors inside. Flowers alive to grow and thrive. Lasham I am called. Sharing the living beauty of plants is my job. What's that asking about? <clears throat> I have flowering plants and green plants planted in specially prepared earth and placed in pots from the potter across the way. All will brighten a room and freshen the air. Guess what happens when I try to buy, buy a plant? You realize you don't have the time or place to keep a plant. All right, so I don't even need it. So that guy's just there for no reason. All right, what about this guy? I have baskets of all colors, sizes, and shapes to contain whatever you wish. I would be most honored if the hero of the north were to purchase one of my baskets. Is this guy just here for show, too? My baskets are made of reeds brought from the east, hand-dyed and woven by myself and my family. They cost but one dinar each. Buy a basket. And you have little need for a basket. All right. Um, what about this guy here? Brass is essence of all that I sell. Lanterns and lamps, braziers, and bottles. Uh, brazier. I call them brazier. I used to call them br brazier since I, when I was a kid playing King's Quest Three. The charcoal brazier. I still call it brazier, but obviously a brazier is something completely different. But it's pronounced brazier. All right. Uh, let's ask about it. And I probably spell it wrong. Ask about stuff. Muffin. But no, I'm not talking to you. Talk to merchant. I'm called Tashtari, which means sunset glow. All right, well, whatever. I don't have money. I can't buy anything. I have gold that they won't take. I have to find that money changer. What's in here first, though? Narak Saeed. Aloha oi. Welcome in. Gesundheit, tip a canoe, and how do you do? Pleased to meet you, and I mean to please you. Just keep on laughing, that's him. Welcome to my shop of wonders. Wonder what shop it is? It's magic, of course. Okay. I am keep on laughing, proprietor. You must be no nobile cause. Proud to meet you, Mr. Cause. Shapir always hopes for heroes. Ask me again and I'll tell you the same. All right, um, I think I had a quest involving him. He wants the whirling part of a dervish. <clears throat> the dervish of the desert oversees his own oasis as he sits upon the sands by the shores of his small spring. It is somewhere south of Shapir and in inches a bit east. If you're going to, to go and gab with him, better take a beast. Probably something I should write down. So, uh, south of Shapir, East, Dervish, Bring Beast. Okay. Let's see what he has to say about the Sultan. The Sultan sits upon the throne. I ponder if he's ever home. The Sultan sits inside his palace. Is he there? I'll go ask Alice. If you can find her, last we met she had a chat with a cat, and chatter with a hatter. It's a wonder man. Hehehehe. Um, to ask about the Emir, I guess. The Emir of Rasir did disappear a year ago. Okay, so Amir, do we have any idea where he is? I wonder what we could do with other stuff here. Oh, is that Rosella on the... Rosella, right there. <laughs> and it looks like Cookie Monster, too. Sorry, but there is nothing I could tell you about that. <laughs> it's a hand puppet bearing the name Rosella. It's a dragon hand puppet. It's a hand puppet labeled Cookie Monster. How odd. It's a hand puppet that is either Cecil the Sea Sick Sea Serpent, Ollie the Dragon, or Zippy the Pinhead, depending on which way you squint. 
They're buffoons balloons, you goon! They are waxen Icarus wings. The label admonishes, do not attempt to use wings in hot climate. Commando Cody flying suit. The lady once asked keep on for liniment, which to rub her chickens. With which to rub her chickens. But he thought she said, two rubber chickens. Oddly, she never paid for them or took them home. The top hats on the bottom are tops, because he bought them. It is a green box for holding red pencils. You suddenly feel compelled to have a nice day. Keepon calls it a self-motivating, horizontally situated windmill. Then again, it might be a giant. You'll have to agree that these are quite clearly orats on a stick. Extremely useful somewhere. Well, they're either eggplants or that new doll called Baby Antwerp, which when turned on its back, promptly explodes. I want to get an Orat on a stick so I can steal that belt from Arnoid the Annihilator. There are pinwheels, just something for keep on to toy around with. <laughs> what do I look like, a department store? Well, you're selling it. I fear you can't procure that here, dear. You don't want to know. Is that Cthulhu? Don't watch this so much, you'll ruin your eyes. This was Keepon's biggest fan until things took a turn for the worst. Keepon groomed tired of being blade for a fool. <laughs> the Michelin Man. The Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. No, it's the Doughberry Pills Boy. Nuns are often the habit of the wearing these with their habit. Bleh? These orbs look vaguely familiar. The tag says, Ali Fakir, genuine x-ray glasses, 15 dinars. They look incredibly large, but the tag also says, one size fits all. It must be magnetic. Aha, so the windbag's been pushing whoopee cushions. You can burn two pieces of toast at once with this baby. Now if only someone will invent electricity and maybe an outlet and extension cord. It's a flippy flyer model XR XL R8 Frisbee. There seem to be books in many languages, few of which are comprehensible to you, but you do recognize some of the old favorites, such as Ghost Riders in the Sky. Be it ever so humble, there's no face like gnomes. Oh, so he's a gnome? Open these cabinets. You can't open the cupboards. What's in here? You looks awfully familiar and familiarly awful. Have you been here before? This guy reminds me of the the warlock in the other game. It sure looked real. <laughs> so you got a fake wall back there. What happens if I go on this door? Does this guy sell anything? What? What can I buy here when I have money? Spit out goods. If you need to know the answer, then ask another prancer. <laughs> it's Sandman, hot Scott, dry guy. All right. Well, let's let's see if we can find the money changer. If I could get out of here. If you need to know some knowledge about the magic way, then go and see Aziza, who will enchant you if you stay. Aziza. Watch out, she's testy though. Who's Aziza? Long farewell, oh, we do the same. Goodbye, see you real soon, Effendi cause like you. Aziza, that name sounds familiar too. Let me just ask him about it real quick. Hello, Bonjar. Hi, guy. Set a spell. Take your shoes off. What may I do to you? Ask about Aziza. Auntie Aziza lives off the east end of Shmali Tariq. Mind your P's and Q's when you are there, or she might send you you know where. Shmali Tariq. Alright. Alright. Bonsoir, sir. <laughs> After a while, crocodile. Okay, so if I were to go to that dead end in uh, 
what what do they what do they call it? Dinar Tariq. That's where the money changer is. I would have to go down Narfordarb. Spending a great riches in your baskets. I don't want your baskets. You need a lamp. I might I might want a lamp. Lamps come in handy in these games. Ask about lamp. My old lamps will light the way through the darkest night. Surely an adventurer such as yourself would need for such thing. For FND, I've charged 15 dinars. Let me just reinforce where the money changer is. Dinar Tariq. And what is this, this sign here? Say. Um, you see dark patches leading west. The street sign reads Nafora Darb, which is where I need to go to get to Dinar Tariq, according to this map, which means Fountain Avenue. Okay, so let's go down Fountain Avenue, and I should reach a two-way, a fork in the road, but I need to go right, bear right at the fork, and then I gotta turn left. And at the next fork, I should go right. Let me just look at the sign just to make make sure here. Um, the sign down the street to the right, which reads Nafora Dar, but another sign down the street, Dinar Tariq. That's where I have to go. So let's go down that way. So now I'm in Dinar Tariq. Let's see if I can find this money changer. Now this is a long hallway. Should turn right eventually. Yep. All right, and then I should reach another fork. Now, the way to the left is Dinar Tariq, and the way to the right is Centim Tariq. Centim Tariq is a very short hallway, so I'm just gonna go down there just to see what's there. And it's a dead end. All right, so that's a waste of time, obviously. Oh. Dinar Tariq, another. So now I'm in Dinar Tariq. But which way do I go? Okay, if I just came out. Wait a minute. I just came from here. See, this is what's confusing is when you're. All right, so I'm, if I go down and to the left, that will take me back where I came from. But if I keep going down and go right, it'll take me down to a new area of Dinar Tariq. There's a right turn here. I keep going straight. There's another right turn. And keep going straight. There's a left turn. Then another left turn. And then this way should lead to a right turn and a dead end, which hopefully has the money changer. Yes, all right. Dinarzad, so we have a stranger to our fair land. Welcome, traveler from afar. Come closer that you might find all that you seek here. I am Dinarzad, changer of money for Shapir. Would you like to exchange something with me? Yay. This small alcove at the end of the alley has a small window with an iron gate above it. Two oil sconces illuminate the guard standing nearby and the woman behind the window. Two women. Men all talk and no action. To the dinar uh, Ask about money exchange. Money changer. I am always pleased to exchange money for stranger. Ask about money. I deal in money. I would be only too happy to exchange your old, worn-out foreign money for money which is a bit more practical around here. Okay, um, exchange money. You have 161 gold coins from Spielberg. How many would you exchange? Well, let's exchange them all. I don't think I can use any of them. Here you are. I just love intimate exchanges like this. Well, how much do I have now? I have... All right, so she obviously didn't give me... 161 she gave me 
109 golden dinars, which I hope is worth something. Ask about golden, ask about dinars, let's see. What, I deal in money, I will be only too happy to exchange your old worn out money. Ask about golden dinars. Ask about bronze dinars. What's what's a bronze dinar worth? Is it ten? Because I think it was ten in the last game. Um, look, dinars. The heavy golden dinar is the coin preferred by nobility. The front bears the image of Suleiman ben Daud, master of the jinn. Look, golden dinars. And it doesn't tell me what what they're worth. All right, well, let's... Frank the guard marks you with his glare. You suspect he would give no quarter in a fight. He would likely pound you to rule. In any case, he has no dime to speak to you, to coin a phrase. To fight him would make no sense. Better leave him alone for a change. Ah, oh, the puns. All right. No one responds. Do you have any other information about stuff? The Sultan, may he live forever, is very wise and watches over everything. It is best not to try and break the laws around here unless one is very cunning. The old Amir of Rasir was a fool, and fools are easy to deal with, but from all I hear, whoever controls Rasir now is far from a fool. So the Amir was the Prince of Rasir? Rasir was once a place where anyone with some brains and skill could make some quick cash. Now that things have changed under the new emir, only those with who toady to the authorities can get ahead. Ferrari is an excellent example of that type of person. Only too willing to kiss and tell. I hate it when I do a typo like that. Do not trust him in Rasir unless you are a thief. Even then, watch your backside. So there's a guy named Ferrari in Rasir who is probably a thief. All right, it might be important for later. Okay. All right. Um, anything else that I need to do? I mean, the whirling part of the dervish, I have some info on. Paladin is. Let's ask about that. I think she probably doesn't know about it, but it's always worth asking just in case. And it's really that lion, Rakish, that knew about becoming a paladin. Um, Alright, so I have money now, though. So I can actually buy things, which is pretty cool. If I can find my way out of this. Some of the things I wanted to buy was, I guess, that lamp would come in handy uh, also I think I could buy a compass and a map from uh, that Italian guy so maybe I'll uh, check that out come on go in All right. okay make a left turn here Keep going straight and make a left turn at the end of this long hallway. I mean, this this can get kind of tedious, even when you know where you're going. But uh, that's the game. I guess this was their copy protection was making a maze that you needed a map for. But I don't blame them. People used to copy games a lot needed to make their money but it does kind of make it annoying in these later years when it's harder to find complete games in the box with all the stuff that you needed to play it all right who's the one that sold the lamp this guy right all right so let's uh buy lamp may this lamp light your darkness you pay for the brass lamp and put it away
I'm called Tashtari, which means sunset glow. Look sharp. Okay. A thousand pardons, FND. I could add little to your knowledge of that subject. Well, it's your own shop. I mean... Alright, well, whatever. I wonder if I should buy pills from the apothecary. Healing pills and stuff. Might be, might be handy to do. Don't think I need food. I still have all my apples, do I? No, I don't have my apples. I have food rations, though. Maybe I'll buy some food. Okay. Lizard jerky. Hmm. Buy lizard jerky? Not jerky. Why jerky? <laughs> and I'll buy... What else? What else do they have? Um... They had a falafel. Which sounded good. But I can't spell it, so. Oh, no, I got it. Okay. And by Saurus. Okay, I'm not hungry. Alright. Um, so I got some food, which might come in handy. Um. Should buy some healing pills. Ah, I did not notice you come in. Welcome back. If you see something which is just you, let me know. Okay. Buy healing pill. Buy vigor pill. Okay. Money back guarantee with every pill I sell. If you die because of a pill, I will gladly refund your money. Okay, thank you. Buy vigor pill. Okay. It might come in handy later, the vigor pill. What does that do anyway? Is that stamina restoring? Vigor pills aid iron poor blood, restore vital minerals used up in strenuous exercise, and act as a quick picker uppers in times of stress. Okay, and poison cure. Just in case I'll buy one. Okay. Twelve dinars. How much money do I have now? Sixty-five and thirty brass. Okay. Uh thirty brass. Alright. Well let's um see I don't really understand how the money works yet. Like <laughs> what it breaks down to. In fact, I didn't understand how it worked in the other one either until, like, the end, and even then I forgot. Alright, so let's go back down to the Fountain Plaza. Which way is it, though? Is it, is it this one? Is this north or... Junob Tariq, which reads South Street. Yep, that's where I need to go. So let's go down to the south, back to Gate Plaza, and see if we can buy a map and a compass. Now that I actually have money to spend. It's kind of nice having this little head start uh, by importing the other character. Helps things along a bit. Special today. Guide to sightseeing in beautiful Rasir. Only cost you one dinar since it's only got one page. <laughs> Can I buy that? Let me see if I got one. Sorry, boss. I just ran out of them. Maybe you come back at tomorrow and I no longer have it. I still not have it. Um, let's buy a map. Let me see if I got one. This guy doesn't have anything, does he? Here you go, boss. One map for one dinar. Oops. You're not going to regret this, boss. Guaranteed the best map in town. You know get your money back. Um, buy a compass. You need a compass, too. Is not very organized, is he? Alright. Alright, so I got a compass, which 
seems to be pointing in all directions at the same time. That's not handy. Read compass. All right, it's not very useful since there's. Can I get my money back? There's no little thing. There's no pointer. With compass, you will always know which way you are going. How many people you meet know that. I give you compass. It only costs a dinar. Return compass. It's broken. Please, FND, a thousand pardons, but I do not understand. How convenient for him to suddenly not know English when I want to return what I bought. Let's look at the map, though. Alright, so this is pretty much the same as the map that I downloaded. And it's got a little compass thing on it. Okay. Um, it's got like a little sword thing here. I didn't want to do that. Let me look at it again. Can I right click on things? Yeah, okay, just local townsperson. All right, well, now that I've kind of accomplished what I wanted to accomplish so far, just buying stuff, getting my money, I have some things I can quest with. I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, it'll be a brief episode today, just to, just more getting back into the groove of this. And I will continue it next time with a quest for glory to signing out.